You might be in a terrible situation now, where there seems to be no help forthcoming. Are you in financial issues now, or have you been suffering terrible pains in your body, or going through any form of mockery and shame? I know it seems as if it's such a terrible situation that you feel that you cannot come out of it, but there is hope for you. You might even be asking if God is my God, why is this terrible situation buffering me? And it seems as if God is not doing anything and just sitting on the throne enjoying the rhythms of heaven. And you are here suffering this terrible situation. Men might have told you that this is incurable and unresolvable, but there is hope in God for you. You are not the first to go through this, but I'm telling you that all that trusted in God even though it seemed that the answer did not come immediately, they still came out of this situation better than ever. 1 Peter 5 verse 9 to 10 encourages you, Resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. God is called the God of all grace. No matter the situation you're going through now, He is aware of it, and He is touched by your pain. And God is saying to you that after a little while you will come out, which means that the situation is just for a moment. It's not going to be forever. It is just for now. This should resound in your thoughts from now that the terrible situations that are troubling you is just for a moment. It doesn't have lasting power, and there is one sure thing. You will come out from that situation more perfect, established, strengthened, and settled. This promise is not for everyone. It's for the one who goes through a terrible situation, and this is why you rejoice amid troubles. There is a profit and purpose in pain. Look at the blessings that are attached to the person that's going through a hard time. You might be going through a situation now, but there is dawn coming ahead of you. You must see yourself coming out better than who you used to be before. You might be the one tracking miles to get to your workplace. Or maybe you're running a petty business and it seems as if nothing is working. There is a profit and purpose of that trouble. That is why, amid them, God tells you to count it all joy. You might go for an interview and meet the employer, and he tells you that you've gotten the job, but just that you'll have to go for tests that might not align with what you're used to. You might have a hard time with a test, but you know in the end that you're employed, so that joy knowing you already have the job. That same joy is what you should carry now, because you know you'll come out of that situation better. God is a master transformer. You should put your hope in God and believe to see the goodness of God always in the land of the living. God is responsible for your life, and that means He has a guard over every aspect of your life. You can never go wrong. You are His rightness and correction on the earth. That trial and situation came to you because it's known that it has the answer in you, because there's a trial where there is always a testimony. Sometimes you might feel depressed and lonely, not knowing who to talk to about these difficult times. But like a mother to a child, that is how God has you in His hands. Keep your eyes focused on Him and not the largeness of the situation. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. There is no trouble or difficult situation that comes to you that is above you. God knows about this already, and that's why he allows that situation to come to you. You should have the courage to keep going even when things don't seem to work as you plan. God's faithfulness can be trusted. He tells you again, Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads, 
We went through fire and water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. This is the assurance that you are not just alone going through the night season. God is with you. You might have been overthrown by men and you went through the hardest times, but you'll be brought into a wealthy place. Are you not seeing your beautiful life? There is a crown of life and victory on you. You might not see it yet, but God has destined you for greatness. You can be encouraged by the story of Job. Maybe you are in the same shoe now, beaten. Everything in your life has been lost. Your children might have gone astray and been sold out on the street. But you will come out of these situations better. As difficult as your situation may be, don't let them define or become your identity. You are not your adversities. Your job status or bank statement or a messy divorce or anything that has ever happened to you. Anything. Who you are is far beyond any external measure, situation, or experience. Nothing should take your peace like really nothing is worth your peace of mind. God keeps repeating to you, let not your heart be troubled. You should be positive-minded. The situations that come to us are braver and bigger on the inside, and we become stronger when we go through trials. You are better than your struggle. They do not define you. Rest in the love of God for you. God's love for you is so strong, and this love gives a comforting assurance that you will come out of your situation better than ever. Romans 8 verse 37 tells us, Yet amid all these things we are more than conquerors, and gain a surpassing victory through Him who loved us. Even in your struggle and challenges, you should keep in mind and be conscious that victory is yours always. The Bible says, You are more than a conqueror. You cannot be beaten by that situation. No matter how overwhelming the situation you're currently in is, you are an overcomer. You will always triumph. The beautiful thing about your victory is that it will come through God's love for you. The situation you're currently in is just a phase, and it'll soon pass. The book of Ecclesiastes teaches us that there is a time for everything under the sun. The good news is that the time for your struggle and challenges is almost up, and a time of refreshing is here. Another interesting thing is that you're not coming out of the situation the same way you got into it. You're coming out 100 times better. You're coming out victorious. When you're going through a tough time and the situation is so bad, the troubles seem to be unending. Do not lose your faith and hope in God. Do not ask meaningless questions as you are advised in Ecclesiastes 7 verse 10. Do not say, why were the old days better than these? For it is not wise to ask such questions. Do not for any reason doubt God's love for you. God is the one who will bring you out of the situation. He is the one who controls time and seasons. In that situation, God's grace is sufficient for you. His grace is capable of bringing you out of the situation stronger and better than you can imagine. I know your current situation does not look like it can come to an end. I know you do not see yourself overcoming. But I need you to believe God's word that says you are more than a conqueror. God is not a man that he should lie. His word is true and you can trust it because he does not fail. In conclusion, God said, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. You can sow that pain and cries as a seed, but know assuredly that you will reap a harvest of joy because what you will be after this experience now will be much better.